Hello again, loves Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel. If you hear noise in the background, the girls are playing and uh, they won't stop. I've asked them very politely. I say, ma'ams, please be quiet. And uh, they don't. So I apologize for that. And I do believe that my fabulous microphone will be picking it all up. So it is follow a sketch February that the lovely state goddess, who is Sandy in real life, puts on in February. And today's sketch is this lovely one right here. So there are three photos and then like journaling bits up here. You guys know I hate to journal, so I'm going to do four photos and create that sketch. The four photos I'm going to do lined up at the bottom are going to be Miss Maggie getting scared. And I don't remember. This was Thanksgiving Day, actually. I don't remember what she was scared of. But that little two-inch legs jumped from the weight bench to behind my husband and we were laughing and then this is earlier or i don't know at some point in that day robbie is standing here cooking thanksgiving dinner and the girls were just praying to the sweet baby jesus that they would he would drop something so they could get it so i'm going to cut this one down to just be the girls and put it up here i thought I'm going to use, this is my, one of my scrap room kits from uh, November. This was the, uh, the flavors. So we're going to pull that in. And I've pulled this in because I need a little bit more of the embellishments. And you guys, for real, thought I purchased this collection at She Loves Color from Bella. And um, that's a negative. I cannot find it. So I may have purchased it, but I don't know where it's at. I've got underneath my desk over here, oh, so many kits. So I've brought this in and I do have a couple other fall things if I want to bring in, but I'm gonna try to kill off this November scrap room. The little, a little sample, a little sprinkle of a kit. So really on this, I just have, <clears throat> ooh, happy Thanksgiving, which I can get on here because um, this will be the end of my Thanksgiving photos and just a couple of these fun items and maybe get a title out of this. I think I can get most, if not all of that used up. Well, let me just throw that way over there. And then in my little sprinkle of um, ephemera, I've got season, <clears throat> whoa, a little crock pot, a little basket of apples, which you could actually use as a journaling spot. And then this cute little wreath bit so we can definitely get some of those used up i still have my little triangles and then this was from a close to my heart um collection pack so i have autumn memories and then autumn memories again so i thought maybe i could i fussy cut that out before so i don't really know what we're gonna do with those and then like i said i've got this echo park that i threw in there because it does kind of go with the mood and feel of the bella um collection all right let's get this party started you guys it is actually january 20th and i am already in february doing videos so i am like so proud of myself that i have been able for two months now to stay two to three weeks ahead i know eventually it's gonna fall off let's just know that so my personal prompt for today is stickers which we have a sticker sheet, so we're gonna nail that. Um, and I've got this card stock here, which is natural from Basil. And it's a bit of a textury smooth. And then I've got two pieces left of the one fall day. So we've got falls a flutter and hello fall. So we've got these beautiful little trees. We've got green, we've got blue, and then we have flutterbys also known as butterflies. See, I'm used to, my, my son used to call them flutterbys when he was a kid. So we're gonna use this as the background base layer because I just don't use cardstock that much, you guys. I have a ton of it, but I go to like pattern paper more other than white cards. I don't know, I always tear it in half. So I have made it somewhat of a mission here to try to talk more to you while I am doing these layouts, um, I noticed I'm just trying to improve. That's really where we're going with that. So this is like a half and half with a strip. And then, all right, so we've got that. 
And I think, do we want to do those? I think we're going to go with this is a half and half, so we're going to cut that branding strip off real quick. Let's go ahead and trim that. I always tear them in half. It's like a thing. I don't really know. All right. Does it matter which way we go? No. So we're going to take this down to six. The girls are like busy playing in there. You hear them? I say this lasts 15 more minutes, and then... They fall asleep. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and get the green. I'm gonna cut a strip of green to be my like a little border strip. Mm, what do we got here? So let's just take that right there. We're just gonna trim that off. And then that as the border strip to separate it and then we'll do the trees I got to grab a circle punch and I will punch out circles to give me that fun little scallop down there and as baby got scraps is over I will just I don't know what I'll do with this because it's gonna be quite oh I can map my photos in this as well <coughs> yes so what I'm gonna do so you guys don't have to see me futz around for a minute I am going to punch out the circles and get this all adhered down and we'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> none of this is attacked down. I was just kind of playing with my leftovers. I have all but this as a scrap left, so I use both of those sheets, so that's pretty good. I've got season up there because I'm not real sure what else to do with it. I kind of thought we could. Hmm. Maybe pop that up on some foam and put it on top of the um, wreath. Thought that would be a nice touch. Get that on there. I think we'll use that as part of our title, like Happy Thanksgiving Season. So we'll just get that stuck right down in the center. And then we can bring this here. Kind of do that with the title. I have switched it around. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I did put the three photos on top and Maggie down here. So, you know, it happens. We're going to take our little family. Almost stick it right up here on the photo. I like to add things to my photos. And keep messing all of this up. So since I moved that, now I don't know what I want to do. All right, let's pull this in because this was a part of that as well my original what I had going on so I kind of stick this there and then tuck that in there and we'll put that there for now and I think we're gonna go ahead and get that all stuck down because I like that placement there so obviously at this point I don't even know if it says that's a creative memories sketch as well. I don't think it even has a title on there. So we're just going to place that over there. We're going to get this stuck right there. And then we'll come up with our little season. So I really like these kits and I like the fact that I feel like I can get them used up. So we've got that. I think I want to put put this together and then we 
I'm gonna put some twine on this. I do have some twine sitting here. How handy was that? No, I'm just playing. Um, this was actually in my December How to Kill a Kit with Style that I did not use. But I've actually done good with this quarters How to Kill a Kit. I've got like several layouts done other than just my one a month. And I don't know, I guess it's just because I wasn't really all that into what I was scrapping. Let's, let's make this, I wonder if that's going to be too small. So when I do my tassels, I, I make them more like tassels, you know, instead of just one little strand through. I don't know if it's going to be too short and I'm off screen. I'm sorry because I'm fiddling with this trying to get it all in here. And that's a hot mess. That's a hot mess. I don't like that. So let's just go to and yes I always get like either way too much because I have so much twine and thread and stuff that I'm okay if, if I have to do something like this. I need new scissors, you guys. So in just to secure it, I always come in with a little liquid glue and just kind of get it underneath. Because obviously I'm not going to pull it tight enough. Because I pull it tight enough, I have been known to rip the paper. So we're just going to pop that right about of there then I think I used all my foam dots so go me well I used that one package I have no idea where the other one was so that was some kind of weird that's some something that I think it came from Stampin' Up to create like shaker pockets or not, sh yeah, to create shaker pockets. And I don't use that. So we're just gonna put a little, a little smiley face right there just to, just to pop that up a little bit. And then we'll get this guy on here as well and pop him up. You gotta have dimension, right? I like some dimension on the layouts. And then when I use a foam, I always do liquid and dry because sometimes um, my foam kind of repels my ATG, and I don't know what that's about, but it, it's a it's a thing. They don't always want to coincide and live happily together. So now we're just going to get Miss Meg stuck right about so. Okay. And let's bring in a little bit of this red up here. And let's put a little grateful for you. Let's do that down here. Not that I'm not grateful for my husband, but eh. let me put bunches of pumpkins. And I may not even need to use that chipboard sheet. Can bring in just a little bit of the blue from there, kind of around. Little tag there. I don't know if there's any more little tags on here. Hmm. I don't actually like that foam, you guys. I think it's too thick. That was that was not working for me. After I did it, I was like, mm. it was like a weird angle sticking up. Let's pop the pumpkin in down here as well, and then we'll get, let's pop this guy up on some foam. So, 
cut that in half and I just got some little random old fun foam. Nothing special going on there. And then we just need to trim that. Like so. Ooh, I'm gonna have to clean my scissors. I need some new ones. I've got a notch in them. It's all kinds of weird stuff going on with those scissors. But I've had them for several years. I know they should theoretically last longer, but they didn't. <laughs> I'm rough on scissors. And then I think we'll put the little pink heart here with the love on it. <laughs> And we will just pop in a few of these little hearts. Okay. And happy fall, y'all. This little time spent together it could be one fantastic title. Um, yeah, so that's not bad. Um, do we want to get these guys in here? I really do. I need to just try to use them all, right? So let's see if we can just. Um, somewhat it's not really working to my advantage here it's, it's actually being a little difficult so we get three and then let's come in with Do three right here. I may put more. I just want to make sure that I've got enough to, to go everywhere. Right, three there. And then. Like they're really hard to like hold on to with the tweezers. But if I use my hands, then I feel like I can't do it that way either. So I'm just a mess, right? Three there, and then what do we have? Four left, really. So let's just put this guy down here. We'll just put four, three, and three, and then we're gonna put the other three. And put them. there and then we've used up oh my goodness we've used up all of these little guys it's like my hands don't want to work because it's so stinking cold I woke up this morning it was zero degrees and felt like negative 18 for you people that live in that type of climate I, how, how do you do it because it's really cold um so yeah, I think that I will, I'm going to cut this big circle out and put this into my How to Kill a Kit because it's the same color and then everything else I will kind of cut out and put in my little bins up there. And maybe, maybe we've got these little acorns. So let's put these on there as well because I'm, I know I don't need to, but I do want to try to just use these things up. I'm gonna get the little flowers and sprinkle them around as well. Okay. And then that's gonna do it. So, I mean, I didn't follow the sketch exactly, but it's a good starting off point. Like, I haven't been in my 
scrap room for a minute. So I thought if you, you know, so it's always good to have a, a jumping off point. I could have used one of those strips as well, but I, I don't know. Um, so it's a good jumping off point as well. So it gave me something to go with. And, and that's what it's for. You know, it's your own creativity, you guys. You don't have to do what everybody else thinks you should do or says you should do. Or, you know, that collection doesn't actually match those photos. Well, that's okay um, because it's my layout, you know. So don't let people decide for you what thing, what should and shouldn't be. Drop these little guys in. Well, that one's going to go there. And then we'll get this guy right over here as well. See, the flowers even look the same. And then I do want to get this falling for you. And, whoa, and grateful for you because I think that's kind of cute. So we'll just stick that little falling for you right there. All right, so I even used up some stuff that was not on that kit. So that one is killed. That's a scrap room kit. So if you guys haven't heard about the scrap room, go check it out. I'm not affiliated with them. I just absolutely adore their kits. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I did get my stickers on there. So boom, that was done. I've got all of Thanksgiving done now. That's one more I can cross off. And it's a, it's a follow a sketch. February day two. So again, there was the original sketch and there's what I did. So don't forget to go check everyone else out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.